Cajun Gator Face Off. Reissue Tur Mutant Mayhem Ninja Turtles Leatherhead today in Gorilla Reviews. Yes, with the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie coming out, in addition to the uh, issue reissues already appearing, we also have new takes on the characters themselves. Here, because I actually had the, the ability to do so, and, well, Rocksteady and Bebop weren't available for the Mutant Mayhem version, we're going with Leatherhead. But you get two very different looks. <laughs> and, well, considering they're two different time periods, it's not a big surprise. In addition to the very different looks, we also have the Weapons of Sorbonne, which kind of follows two different trains of thought here. Here we have, for the reissue, we have the two weapons that were classically available with them, known as deluxe weapons. Whereas with a Mutant Mayhem version, we not only get one shotgun and a trap, but a bowie knife and a fishing pole, along with a painted double barrel shotgun. And funny thing, this costs less than this one. Figure that one out. Now looking at the back of the packages, we do see what a uh, 30 plus years difference makes in promoting different toys, even though it is a similar concept. We, well, we get to see the actual toys with this one, whereas we get very different, perhaps more screen accurate versions of with this backing. Although the toys themselves, especially Superfly, is, uh, is quite a bit different. And the bios are also tremendously different. Here you see all the vital statistics and along with his regular bio. Whereas with other head in the Mutant Mayhem version you just get a much more simplified and menace meter version. So now I want to pause it and read that bio right there. And Free reading in a toy review. Now, another thing right off the bat that you will notice is that you're seeing some very different styles. What I'm guessing is that uh, as opposed to the original Leatherhead, which was an alligator that got mutated into this, this was a, uh, I guess, in Cajun fisherman by your boy just kind of out late at night and then ran into some mutagen ooze and turned reptilian. Similar vibes, but very different results. Anyway, let's get these opened up and see what we're working with. Manton card collectors, look away now. There's the trap right there. So now it seems okay. So it just goes the one direction. Okay. <clears throat> anyway. Get this done. Again, very nice that they're doing the bio ties instead of the regular twist ties. This would be a nightmare. As anybody who received these figures at any point in time would be worried. Uh, you know, there we go. Ooh. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Just kind of snap that back on there. There we are. Alright. So, at least you know that's head articulation there. Not much, but it is there. Okay. All right. There's one. Let's see, put it right, right there. Yeah, that'll work. I'll just set the chip right there. Then. Okay. On to the next one. So this is a very soft plastic for the double barrel here. There we go. Hmm. That go in there. Yeah, but probably for something else. We'll get to this in a bit. But there we go. Leatherhead and Leatherhead. I don't think that we have this all, all sorted out. Let's see here now. I know that the rest of the weapons should be able to fit fairly effectively in the 2023 20, Mutant Mayhem version of Leatherhead, but 
this fishing rod, which is remarkably difficult to get out of the package. Okay. There we go. Does this fit in his hand like this? It can. Nice. So you can hold the fishing pole. Not a determining point of quality I had normally would have thought of, but there we go. He can hold his fishing pole. If that excites okay. you. Moving on articulation. For a leather hit original, it's pretty simple. The head does rotate. The jaw moves up and down. Rotation on the arms, nothing else there, no waist rotation. Oh, the hips are on a ball joint, so you can at least get decent moving and a uh, swivel tail. For Mutant Mayhem version, the head, oh, it's on a ball joint, cool. Okay, universal joint for the shoulders and the, and for the elbow joint, we also have, I believe, wrist rotation. There we go, and up and, yeah, so we got that. We actually have a waist swivel here. Uh, universal joint for the hips, swivel joint for the knee, and ankle rotation there. And a universal joint for the tail. <clears throat> so, Already, uh, the main version's coming out on top. As for final thoughts, if you grew up with Leatherhead, this version anyway, and uh, yeah, he brings back fond memories, then this, and you wanted a new one, it's certainly out there. It's exactly how I remember, for better or worse. Not a bad figure, but certainly there have been other, others that have probably sparked people's imaginations a little more. But for my money, I'd honestly go with the Mutant Mayhem version. The articulation, the weapons count, the design, and the fact that it's actually a little bit cheaper than this version kind of definitely puts it in a head for me. Now, if it, this isn't for you, I do understand that. After all, there is that whole, that's not my Ninja Turtles out there. Probably been going on for quite some time, but if you're looking for something new, at least a new version of Leatherhead, he's out there, and I would recommend it. Anyway, I'm the Deceptive Wolf. This has been, these have been rather, Origin, <clears throat> no reissue, and Mutant Mayhem Leatherhead. And get to remind you all, free your mind, free your toys.